Going into this coming school year, y'all are starting school soon, correct? 17th. 17th, okay, okay. So coming into that, uh, since unfortunately COVID is still here, it, it hasn't left us yet. We, we, everybody's telling you, hey, get lost, bro, but he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> He's just sitting on the couch, he doesn't want to leave. But um, so what kind of restrictions or what kind of you know, COVID protocols has your school told y'all about going into this school year? None. None, um, okay. So. And it's been that way for a yeah, while. Texas being Texas, um, which in and of itself is good and bad, right? Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy living here, but I think the beginning of the year, you're strongly suggested to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. uh, unless your parents wrote an email about how they felt it was an infraction upon their child's rights <laughs> or some medical reasoning or whatever. But I think probably about a month in, no one was wearing it. Hmm. And it's really difficult to enforce it because we go to a massive high school. Mm -hmm. So we have a freshman center, 1,000 kids. So the mm -hmm. main high school is like 3,000 people. And just with the staff trying to police all of that, I don't think it would yeah. have been worth it for anybody. I think students would have just gotten frustrated and same as teachers. And then admin would have gotten a bunch of angry emails from parents. Yeah. I agree. Um, it was actually really funny. I guess not funny, it's it's interesting to see like towards like the January-ish time after winter break is when it really hit, when literally nobody was wearing masks anymore. Like mm -hmm. I, I personally caught COVID like January-ish, which is when mm. a lot of the other kids at school also caught COVID. A lot that's, of people. that's when you noticed that everybody stopped wearing masks around them as well? I noticed it a little bit earlier, but it became really apparent at that time, okay. especially just after everyone's traveling, no one cared. You know, they were like, oh, we went on vacation. We didn't yeah, wear masks then. Mm. Complete, like, just whatever. I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, it was weird seeing that. And then, like, I got home. I got tested. People around us were getting tested. They were testing positive. But there are some people who, like, didn't care because with the regulations, some people, like, you could have COVID and just show up to school anyways. Wait, you could have COVID and show up to school? Right. As long as it was like something, something along the lines of like if you had, um, I don't know, there was if you had a mask on or if like hmm. it had been like three days or something since so you had symptoms. The there was it was something like that. So. It was three days if you didn't have symptoms. Yeah. Oh, I see. So like, let's say you test positive. Right. And then your symptoms start disappearing, but it hasn't been two weeks yet. Right. So it's it, they see. followed what like the CDC said at okay. the time, and okay. it was like you're not. Um, transmissive or whatever yeah the mm -hmm. weirdest thing though was even if someone within your family tests positive you still can't go to school 